Hi and welcome. My name is Johnny Fragan. I'm from All Total Coaching. What I want to talk to you today is why you, the married man, more than likely living in the West, more than likely will get divorced between three and seven years. And you, yes you, the single man that is thinking to get married in the West, more than likely you'll get divorced within three and seven years. And those men that are still married, most of them live in a jail in misery because now the whole court system is rigged. And we all know what's gonna happen in court. Now, before we start this controversial topic, if you hate me or you're a victim or you hate the world, please kick off. Don't waste my time, don't waste your time because really nobody cares. Second, I want to thank all the messages from all the people that ask what happened to me. I was sick, but guess what? I'm back with a bang. Now, and to all my new subscribers, thank you very, very much for all your messages. Now, let's start. Why you, the married man, or the single man living in the West, more than likely will get divorced between three to seven years. Here we are. We have a man here at the age of 30. And we have a woman here at the age roughly of 30. He's got a middle income, he's got a car. Society rates him, women rate him between six and seven, let's call him seven. The woman here has got no setting, no car, no nothing, but she's got a job. Because of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, constant validation with pictures, this and that. Her validation keeps going up in her reality. She's only a six, but because of the constant validation she gets, you can do it girl, go girl, strong girl, she thinks she is a nine. This man meets this woman, her perception that she's a nine and she's a seven. If they marry, she's in her perception marrying down. Even if she's got no saving, no nothing. Within three to seven years, by talking to her friends and constantly thinking you could have done better, you could have done better, because it's always go girl, go girl, etc., etc. And the constant BS in the media against the masochistic mayhem against men that every man is a rapist before even even charged, she always thinks she could have done better. And the first or second fight she has with her husband, she thinks it's abnormal, she's already thinking about divorce. So she's in her mind marrying down. What do you think is going to happen within a few years? Three to seven years. And if it stays longer, more than likely she'll have an affair or they will not sleep together. Now for me all single men out there that think this is a joke, no man that is married will admit this because this has happened to me and most men have got a problem they don't talk and therefore they think this will not happen to them your father wouldn't have told you this your grandfather wouldn't have told you this most men don't admit this you know why because nobody wants to hurt themselves and put them down in public well i'm telling you this happens and the married men that are watching me now oh we're married you know exactly what i'm talking about although nobody will admit this in public because I've got the balls and the capacity and the confidence to tell you the truth. Let's continue. So the likelihood of her of you getting divorced is very, very high. Within three to seven years, all you can have a have a, an affair. She'll have an affair on you. And she will never admit it. Now, you may think to yourself that I'm smarter than you, John. I'm going to go to my country, or to Asia, or South America. Very clever. You may think to yourself, because the women there appreciate and they're very good women. Let me tell you and prove to you with a simple diagram now how you're wrong. Let's say, for example, you go to the East, and you're a middle ma ma male, putting in a seven. Your value goes up to a nine. You are a seven goes now. A woman that she's a six or seven, she stays a seven. This is the man. This is the woman. She's a seven, she stays a seven. Is she marrying her? 
You bet. You bet. But guess what happens when you bring it to the West? Constant validation from her friends. Da, 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 talking, talking behind your back. Her value goes up to nine and your value goes to back to six. Within three to seven years, she has been talking to her friends, drumming her head that you don't do enough at home, you don't do this, you don't do this. They never talk about the things you do and all the things you pay because that will never come to the question. You're always going to be talking about one thing, what you don't do. And one thing that a lot of the media in the West, the US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, etc., etc., all Western Europe don't talk about. The real truth is of the value of the woman. You will never hear this in mainstream media. The value of a woman goes from 15 years old to 25 to around 80% because that's the fertility rate. 25, it stays stable to the age of 30. The age of 30, it starts dropping to the age of 40 where virtually her value of having producing children and the next generation virtually dissipates. But you'll never hear this in mainstream media where they don't understand one thing. A man can still have a kid when he's 70 years old. A woman can. A woman, by biology, this is not what I invented, by biology, is limited to a certain period of her life where she can have offsprings. If a woman cannot have os offsprings, she's only worth, well, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I'm not here trying to demonize women in any sense whatsoever. I'm just bringing you a fact the way they are. I get everyday criticism and curses from a lot of people. And I welcome that. Because it means I'm touching a nerve. But on the same time, I get fantastic compliments. Thank you for all of your great compliments. Women over 40 in the West think because of mainstream media and the constant barrage of manginas and weak men hitting on them, that their value is eight and nine when they're really a four or five. But when really these women go out with these men, guess what they find? They are weak little pussycats. And no woman, whether she's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, or even 70, wants to go with a weak man that's got no backbone. And majority of men today in the West are feminized. Why? That's another topic for another channel. On this channel, I speak on this channel the truth. Majority of people cannot take the truth. We've all heard the phrase, the truth will set you free. But how many people speak the truth today? Most people say, yes, you're beautiful, you're wonderful, you're fantastic. When really they're stabbing me behind back the moment you walk off. We all know some people like this. Men do it, women do it. The truth will set you free. That's in previous generations. Today, the lies will set you free. Everybody constantly lies again and again. And on this channel, I bring you the truth for a change. Because I stand what I say. And I deliver. Now, you can look this up. In 66% of cases to 70% of cases, Women are the ones initiate divorce. <laughs> Excuse me. And why is that? Because of this. They always think they're marrying down. If a woman marries up, she will not get divorced. But the problem is, in the West, since day one, women have been living in an entitled world. And governments, again and again, have been pandering to them. And because of that, women's entitlement have gone through the roof. The problem is, they're dreaming about a man that doesn't exist. And those alpha male is only about 8% from my research. And from 8%, even women that have got no value want them. What are the chances of them getting them? And then they get divorced. Four or five years later, they end up begging their ex to come back. And you know why? Because of one reason. Because all the men out there are broken. And women only find this out when it's too late. Now let me tell you, spring on you something that you may know, may not know. I met a friend of mine that got married about three years ago. Come and can't name him, nominate his name, obviously, because of he's watching this channel. 
and he had a kid about a year and a half ago. So I said to him, X, Y, Z, Hawaii is good. So it's finished. He says, what do you mean, John? It's finished. What do you mean? You no longer sleep with your wife. What do you mean? I said, you no longer sleep with your wife. How did she know? I said, mate, the moment she has a kid, it's done. You are second class citizen. Now, may you may laugh at this and think this will not happen to you. But I talk to you also, you're a married man. Ask your daddy, ask your grandfather, what happened? At the beginning, they're more inclined not to tell you. But in time, they may tell you the truth. Every married man that knows me, and I know, ask this question, they all admitted the same. Now, after you've seen this graph and you realize how the equilibrium, once it's tipped into the woman's balance, more than likely you'll get divorced. You may think to yourself, so what is the solution? There's lots of solutions. I have uncovered things that I will blow you away on female nature. What I'm offering today is a program, a one-to-one -one plan on female nature a written plan of the signs that you have on when and how she is planning your demise or your divorce. I will give you a plan step by step what to do, how to do, when to do, show you the signs. We men have got a problem in the West. We don't talk about our personal issues and therefore we think it only happens to us when it happens to everybody. So you have two men sitting in dinner with their wives or girlfriends. And number one man looks at number two and thinks he's so lucky he ended up with her. But you know what number two thinks? How lucky number one is end up with her. But they don't realize they've got similar problems. But because women don't talk about our issues, we think it only happens to us. Women, the moment they finish a date or they have an issue, they're straight away on SMS on the phone talking to their friends and getting advice. Women don't do that. And that's why we always caught with our pants down. Well, I'm here to change your life to show you the signs of female nature and the signs that she's planning your demise. Now you may think to yourself, John, I don't need that. That's okay. Because a woman will never tell you when it's going to happen. She will just spring at you out of the blue. Ask any man that was married, and more than likely he will tell you. 66 to 70% of women initiate divorce. Why? Because they plan it well ahead. Now, we live in a feminized society where you may beg for sex and say sorry, sorry at the beginning. They, met, they may, may suffice at the beginning, but later on you'll become a doormat. And no woman has gone to have respect to a doormat. And women only appreciate and only respond to strength. Now, I'm not advocating, advocating violence in one, any sense whatsoever. But if you as a man do not have a purpose, you don't have a vision, you don't have a path, you don't know how to say no, you don't know how to put boundaries, you become a weak man. And weak men get walked all over by their parents, by their subordinates, by their kids, by their wives, girlfriends, etc. etc. She may stay with you to, uh, to use you, but in the long run it won't last. Appeasing again and again a terrorist may get you a may get you a temporary solution, but eventually down the road it will explode. This is no different. Not that I'm comparing you with a terrorist, I'm just giving an example here. Now, like I said earlier, I'm offering you today a program on female nature that will change your life. They will give you the signs that she's planning your demise. I'll give you things that women do that majority of men, including me, didn't know and you don't know, now I uncovered that. And I will show you a plan, one by one, what to do, when to do, how to do, and I will save your life. And if you don't understand this, why? More than likely you get divorced, and if you don't get divorced, you will be a very miserable doormat. I want to thank here all the people that helped me put this video together. This has been a long, 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 long job. I've been planning this for a long, long, long time. And as I said, I was sick, but I'm back with a bang. I really, really hope you enjoyed this. I opened your eyes to new possibilities as a man. I want to empower you as a man. I want you to be the man you want to be. Because no woman, including me, if I was a woman, I wouldn't respect a weak man. Women only respond to strong men that have got agility, strength, 
direction, boundaries, and more than anything, a path, direction, and belief in your confidence. The majority of men don't have that. The weak little pussycats, it's not going to be very, very attractive. If you want to change your life today, contact us today at john at sosdating.com or look us up on www.alltotalcoaching. Again, thank you for all the people that helped me put this clip up, clip together. Thank you very much for listening to me. I'm sure you will never forget this diagram that I showed you today. Because if you just understand this, I made you think. And if I made you think, I already changed your life. Thank you very much for listening. As always, you know who I am? I'm your friend. John, you forget? Speak soon. And I'm sure I will hear from some of you soon that want to change their lives for real and take matters into their own hand and empower themselves.